How you doing? My name is Rick Moore, owner and operator of Nyla Elise Clothing Company based in North Carolina. Urban World and Nyla Elise teamed up to do the Love and Basketball designs for the t-shirts and, uh, and that's how we, we got started. Myself and uh, Miss Aida Muhammad, uh, we teamed up and we came up with a, a, a game plan for some really, really cool t-shirts uh, that were shown here at Urban World. So this year the theme was Love and Basketball and we're celebrating 14 years of, of the movie. And uh, basically, we had the person who, the directors from the movie and the producers and everything. So we wanted to really hone in on the, on the point that we really wanted to make it a special t-shirt and not just some run of the mill type of design. So we, we designed a handcrafted uh, t-shirt by Nyla Elise Clothing Company. And, and that's how all the staff and all the crew were seen wearing the t-shirt this uh, urban world. 2014. Well, business was uh, terrific. It was amazing to meet all different people from all different walks of life. Uh, we got a chance to, to meet everyone from producers to working actors to celebrities to, to whomever that, would, that came by. They stopped by our table and they really showed us a lot of love and, and, and support. And they were really excited about what we had going on here at Urban World. And that's a good thing because that when, we, when Aida and myself teamed up, we aimed to have something great and something that people can leave with and walk away from and be excited about all the way up until next year. So Nyla Lee's clothing was started with 150 bucks in a one bedroom apartment. So I, I basically, I bought all the equipment before I even knew how to print. Once I got the idea, I, I was at a flea market and I used to sell, I used to make these DJ mixes and mixtapes and, and sell them to people for parties and stuff. So I was at the flea market doing that and I met a gentleman who had a heat press operation. And I walked down there and we got to talking and he introduced me to the printing industry. So what we did was I took that heat press and, I, and he let me do it on layaway. So he asked $700 for the piece of equipment plus $200 for a heat plate. So I asked him, can I do a layaway plan? I gave him a hundred bucks down. He let me take the machine with me. The layaway that I'm used to is you have to pay it off in full. So I was very shocked that he trusted me. I mean, I wasn't shocked that he trusted me enough, but I was shocked that he let me take a $900 piece of equipment. This college kid just took it and I, he trusted I would come back with his money. I came back with his money in two weeks. So what was supposed to take two months to pay off, I paid it off in two weeks. And I went to every barbershop I knew and sold t-shirts. Uh, and, and then he ended up having some screen print equipment. So the screen print equipment, I didn't know anything about it. He said, hey, I have some screen print equipment. A guy owed me 1500 bucks. I'll sell it to you. So I said, well, I don't have $1,500. Can I lay away it? He was like, I kind of need the money for this right away. So he said, if you come up with $1,000, I'll lay away the rest of it. So I immediately went and sold my heat press, and I started working to get the rest of the, the $1,000. When I got the $1,000, I called him, and he said, oh, I think I'm going to keep it now because I've been tinkering with it. So I was heartbroken because I was like, I was ready to, to, to sell new merchandise and, and create this new journey with Nyla Lisa on screen printing. But he had sold the equipment. So I didn't give up. I try to always be a thinker. So what happened was, and this was around 2008, 2009, the economy had crashed and I just got the phone book and I called every single screen printer in my area and they were getting out of the business. So the ones that were getting out of the business, I bought one piece of equipment from each one of them. And I made a shot, and I made it, and I made it into a shed. I took all this equipment, put it in a shed, and I still didn't know how to print. So I went to a local guy in my area. His name is Donald Woods. I just walked in his shop. I didn't know him or anything. I just saw a T-shirt printing on his window. I walked in the shop. My daughter was two years old in my left hand, and I asked him, "Would he teach me how to print?" He looked at me like I was crazy, and then he said, "Yes, I'll teach you." And ever since then. I just hit the ground running. Nyla Elise is the name of my eight-year-old daughter. So the two-year-old I was holding in my hands, she's the inspiration behind this brand. And I wanted to build something and create something that was so much bigger than myself, bigger than her, bigger than my friends and family. I wanted to create a movement and a legacy. So basically, that's what we've created with Nyla Elise. And all of the celebrities, and all of the, the people from my community and my, my state, the beautiful state of North Carolina, and city of Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill, Charlotte, all surrounding areas have showed us so much love and support that it's been 
almost, almost overwhelming. So every time I come out to an event like this out of my state and I get the same warm welcome and the same amount of love <clears throat> and the same amount of love, it's an amazing, amazing feeling. So I look forward to doing more and more events with Urban Worlds and other film festivals.